and welcome along and welcome to silver on forest for a brand new farming simulator 22 series uh we have just arrived um we the train has left we that wasn't our train uh we managed to book passage over to the us um we have come here to do a specific job we've been asked to come and build a roller coaster here uh, in the local town. So uh, that is what we're going to be doing. I, I have sold off my Land Rover. I sold that to book my ticket out here. And uh, and my uh, and, and my train ticket over here to the town. And uh, yeah, we're going to start here. We're going to see what the local shop has to offer. And uh, I'm going to buy some, uh, some stuff and, and some bits and pieces. So let's see if there's anything uh, for sale locally. That might be of use to us. We sold the TLX Phoenix. Uh, over before we moved out. And immediately the first thing available to me. Is a TLX Phoenix. I actually can't pass this up. I think we're just going to go with a standard for now. We can reconfigure it later if we need to. Uh, 100, uh, 485 horsepower should be fine. I like the Seminole decals we had on the last one. Uh, bumpers. I'm going with the heavy duty on here to make it a little bit different. Um, we then have visors and mirrors. I'm going to go with the stock fender mirrors because I like how they hang out there quite nicely as well. Straight with flappers. Exhaust like that to be a little bit different from what we had last time. Uh, no GPS. Main color as always. We're going with the olive aged. And uh, for the vinyls, we'll go with the school bus aged frame. Uh, I quite like in the black, unless we can go, uh, we'll go chrome blackout for the frame, actually. And then rim color. Uh, I think I'm going to go again with the chrome blackout. That is fantastic. License plate. We need to pick somebody from the... Uh, patrons, so congratulations to Mark B747. I have put a dash in the middle just to make everything uh, even out a little bit, but congratulations to you. Your name is going on the truck. We're going to buy that, and that is going to be our base truck for this series. Uh, the Torion is really tempting, but we'll have a look at where we are in a bit. Uh, for now, though, we're going to start off with our nice slightly beat up phoenix we're gonna go and have a look at some land and see what we can get first thing we're gonna need is something to process all of the wood that we're gonna be doing on this map and to do that our best bet is gonna be up here and the sawmill uh i think i think it's actually quite important we own this straight from the get-go We've got uh, 455,000 left. So uh, let's go over here. And uh, this is going to cost us 250,000 straight off the bat. So yes, I'm going to buy that. And uh, there we go. We're down to 205, 749. So I reckon we've got about another 100 thousand we can spend getting land and uh, and setting ourselves up so i think we're going to go and have a look in these areas we'll go and check out what kind of uh possibility for creating a logging camp would be over there and uh, and then go from there because if i could create a logging camp fairly close to here that is going to make things a lot easier for us this area is actually quite flat in places. Uh, we've got several bits and pieces where we can very, very easily create a, uh, a logging camp uh, around the sides and sort of just move things about a bit, I think. Oh, what have we got down here? Just the other side of the river here. This looks, this looks like a great place just the other side of the river here to maybe create a logging camp and get ourselves set up so how much is the land that we're in at the moment it's uh it's 18 it's ninety-three thousand. 
uh, we could very easily clear some space here and then attack this area. So, uh, yeah, we are going to buy this and set ourselves up at the back here, I think, uh, which is pretty good. So now that we've done that and we've scoped out an area for our logging camp to be set up, um, what we need to do is uh, probably head down to the shop and uh, get some more equipment to get up here. So let's go and have a look at the forestry equipment in here. Ideally, what we need is something to cut trees uh, nice and easily. Uh, so I think a forestry harvester would do us fairly good. A better choice might be a Volvo. Uh, maybe one of these. Uh, configuration is for grapple processor head. There we go. So that would add 32,000 to it. It would be 291. Uh, we can go with a beacon. Actually, we'll take the beacon off and go with the safety beacon. And then standard windows. And this would be 292. So let's lease that and uh, go with that. Uh, we're going to have to get that to the field as well, or to the trees as well. So to do that, I uh, want to get a low loader. This might do the trick for us. So let's have a look. Uh, standard extension. No, just standard. I think we will go with the black wheels. And uh, we'll leave the license plate on there. So let's lease that. Yes, we're going to need a forestry trailer. I think we're going to go with the one from the DLC. So that is this one here. Uh, chassis color will be the uh, olive green. Uh, the design color will be the challenger yellow. And main color will leave us that. We want the black wheels on it to match our tractor. So, uh, yeah, that's perfect as well. So we're going to lease that too. We still have 93,000, which is great. That class Torion at 70,000 actually would be a pretty good purchase, I think. Yes, and we can probably use this. I think we can get some, uh, some stuff to use on this. So, uh, yeah, we will grab this. Uh, because it's pretty good. I think I think that's a great price. So uh, yeah, let's head off to Patreon and find a, another person uh, for the number plate. Congratulations to Simon Hardy. Uh, you've been once again selected. Uh, so we're going to put uh, your name on like that. Unfortunately, I can't fit the whole thing on, but uh, there we are. Um, so yeah, this class tour, and I, it's, it's just a perfect selection for us so we're gonna buy that too and then a couple of bits of forestry equipment well a couple of things we'll need for this uh log fork for this i'm gonna lease it we want to keep the the amount of money we have at a good amount so we're also going to lease this too yes those two bits will do us perfectly for now and that should mean that we are in a really good position to get our equipment down to our logging area. And this is already a much bigger setup than we had going on our previous map on whole macro. Um, we are, yeah, massively bigger on here. I'm slightly worried this trailer is not going to take this bit of kit, though. Okay, I have got it onto this trailer. It's not great. Uh, nowhere near perfect. And I think we're going to have to go fairly slowly. But it is on here. And we're just going to put the uh, front fork or the forklift forks onto this trailer as well. With any luck, uh, we will also be able to uh, get started today. So let's very carefully and very slowly get this back to our camp. So we've managed to make it here fairly safely. I have got a bit of a barrier there to avoid. So we'll bring this down like so and into our roadway. So that's the easiest way to our camp is from there. 
And uh, yeah, then it doesn't take too far down here for us to get this. So we'll park that there. Unfold our trailer. Take off. Oh, we've got to take off those. But uh, we also need to get the wheel loader back here to take that off. Now, I don't know how good this uh, front clamp, this this uh, wood um, pickup is going to be with single logs. It's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, I think we're, we're very much looking at clearing this area as much as we can and then setting up a, uh, a logging camp around here um, and basically having this as our logging yard uh, and then using it to branch out into the rest of uh, the area we are in. Let's connect that on and yeah, then we can move those out the way as well and that will mean we can then move our excavator off of here as well. I think yeah, eventually owning an excavator is going to be a very useful thing. Um, at the moment, of course, we don't. It's leased, and uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, but it should be okay. I am slightly surprised if we've got two really useful bits of kit straight off the bat uh, for us to, um, to work with, uh, which makes me very happy. Right, let's give this a try, shall we? Let's uh, open that up. You know what this doesn't do? This just hangs there. So, uh, yeah, the, the only way this works is for us to cut a tree, pick it up with this, and use this to cut it into, uh, into bits. So, we are going to have to cut things. <gasps> We're going to cut things with a chainsaw. Bring this along and then come along and, uh, and process them with this. And that, I think, is the way we're going to have to do things. As a result, uh, we've got to go back to the shop anyway and pick up a... Um, uh, and pick up a... Uh, chainsaw and pick up our trailer but yeah we're gonna be doing it that way to start off with so i've hooked up the trailer uh and we've popped back into the shop uh, i want to get up a couple of things actually first things first uh i want to grab some marking spray so we'll grab some of that and then i want to grab a chainsaw as well are they not yeah there we go chainsaws um, I am going to take the Husqvarna uh, with us as well. Right, so we should now have chainsaw and spray paint. Perfect. Back into our Phoenix and uh, head back up to the logging camp. And we're back again with our trailer. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Oh, uh, yeah. We spent quite a lot of money getting this all set up. And uh, if this doesn't work, this might be back to the drawing board. Uh, but there we are. Right. Let's get this then. See if we can't cut this in such a way that we can make it fall in the direction we want. Like so... 35 meter spruce. So if we cut. Oh, I did hit it. Uh, so if we cut this into five meter chunks, we should be okay. Yeah, not quite the right place. Uh, so current cut length is five meters. That's perfect. Let's open it up then and bring this over here. Come on. Reverse up. There we go. Right, and down. Right, and X. So this will clear it off of all of the... Uh, all the wood. And then if we go cut, it will cut it into nice five meter chunks for me. Like so. This is fantastic. I love this. And those are much more stable. 
when we were doing things on whole macro uh yeah that was it was a lot less stable than that and that is just uh that is just beautiful absolutely beautiful so if we then back this off like so and we go and grab our piece of kit over here so we will drop those off start it up you should now be able to grab this entire pile of uh, logs and get them straight onto the trailer with any luck so uh yeah we don't need the beacon on because this is a pretty big uh grab we've got here and if what we were doing on uh whole macro is anything to go by we should be able to get under all of these logs with a little bit of care come on oh there we go i got under at least a couple of them we'll tip that over there do that look at that that is a nice big chunk of locks we've got in our grab bring this round here and then we've got the height or we've got the positioning actually so the whole idea was that we uh we'll give ourselves enough space and then we just let it go and bang in they go into the trailer fantastic already straight off the bat this is working really really well what we are going to need though is uh is we're going to need a tractor or something with a uh with the ability to stump grind because at the moment we do not have that and uh and yeah that is going to be something that's going to be a little bit necessary as we go forward oh that's not the greatest pickup but as long as they get in our logging trailer, that is fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. This is going to work. Despite some initial teething issues, uh, it looks like we might actually have a working setup here uh, that is going to be bigger than we had on whole macro and all for £500,000. So let's mark a couple of trees now uh, that we want to take. We want to take this one. Um, I think we can take anything really this side of the river. So uh, that one wants to go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that one wants to go. Uh, this one I think wants to go as well. No, nope, there we go. And yeah, that will be that will be a good number for here. We'll take this one as well. There we are. Right, so let's get these cut and then we can just come in. Right, get the angle right this time. We can come in uh with the Volvo, get these cut, and uh and then sort them out. I want to pick them up at the other end. My where I'm looking for these is still all wrong anyway we'll get this one moved out of the way and we'll pick it up with the other end so it clears to the base and then we can get it all cut so oh wow no we're gonna have to do it the other way uh, means we're gonna end up with the short piece at this end again which is annoying but uh not completely unexpected so down to there forward a little bit uh, cut and so that will go all the way through so it clears off the branches and then when it gets to the end we just go cut and uh, yeah make some nice five meter cuts I think under five meters it was uh, it gets made into whoops uh, I believe it gets made into wood chips. So uh, I think our biggest logs at the moment here are in danger of that. But we are clearing a nice area around here. Ready for us to uh, to make a nice big logging camp with. Oh, look at that. That's gone 
that has actually gone properly in this time. And if I pull that out and, and just bring those round and then close that up. Look at that. Oh, all of those in just... No, we lost a couple. Need to restack. Oh, it, it is working. It's definitely working a lot better. A lot better than it was. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. We do need to get these stumps out of the way, though. I'm getting a few end bits now that we want to sort of pick up and move out of the way because otherwise they're just going to be trouble. Uh, eventually, I want to get a, uh, a wood chipper so that we can deal with these end bits. But at the moment, we're doing all right. Let's take this tree next. So I want to be 90 degrees to this. So uh, 281, I want to be... Uh, five, yeah, three, 270, so yeah, I want to be about 10 degrees, uh, really, about there-ish. Got this, and this should fall in the right direction, maybe a little bit off, but I think that's about right there. Yes, exactly where I wanted to go, so if I'm a little bit more careful... With uh, with the angles I do things at, I should be all right. Start this up. Unfold that. Oh, I've got to remember to start moving the direction I want to move before I turn my wheel with this. Because uh, otherwise it gets... <gasps> it's too thick! Damn! Okay. So this is an instance where we can't cut this whole tree with this so instead what we're going to have to do and this is where the chainsaw comes in very nicely is we're going to have to go back to the old method chainsaw out uh alt and right click zero meters so we'll take it slightly beyond five meters for doing this and that way we can cut even trees that are too thick for our piece of kit and I think that's just about got it. Yes. Now, what I do need to do is go along this. We'll wiggle about a bit, get this all delimbed. And then these uh, ones that we've picked up, uh, we can go and get these picked with our wheel loader. And uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to get them picked up. But uh, we are going to be able to do it. It's a little bit annoying that that is uh, that that won't do the thickness of these trees. Oh, it's still picking it up. There we go. Right, we reverse this up. I don't think it's much outside of uh, of what it can do, but uh, it is outside of what it can do, unfortunately. Always pay to have a plan B. Right. So in here, close that up get that collected and what i'm gonna try and do is see if we can uh start putting these together and maybe take two at a time with this so open that up down still got some limbs on it this one right and then close it up pull that back close it up more like that and let's see if we can delim this while it's here. Um, because, yeah, there we go. Just a little bit clean up. And then we'll load these up and come and get the next. There's only about four or five logs here. Uh, but it should be fairly easy to clean up pretty quickly. Five meters seems to be a fairly good length. And uh, this is picking things up really nicely, actually. I've managed to gather three logs up into this and, uh, and it's made my job much, much easier. Uh, we'll get the whole of this tree into here and looks like our trailer can take about four trees worth, uh, which is good. Uh, move it over slightly. Get that there. Open that up and those should all get in there. Uh, maybe a little bit more looking at that, which is uh, pretty good. 
we just need the last couple. We might be able to pick the last one or two of these up, or is it just? Oh no, I think that's that's. Oh, uh, yeah, we can pick that up. Uh, but that does look a little bit like the end pieces there, so we'll move that over there. It would make that into wood chips, um, and we will eventually take a load of wood chips. Let's go and see if. Well, I think these next two trees should certainly be able to be handled by this. So, uh, yeah, again, 80. So, uh, we want this to go down at that angle. So, 10 degrees. Cut the tree. Down it goes. Missing all of our stuff. And, yeah, there's no way that this is uh is too big for that uh for this to handle it's um it's a much much thinner tree to the point where i'm very tempted to oh come on there we go got a little bit confused or it got stuck on a tree yeah that's what's happened wow i think we're gonna have to cut some of these smaller ones down as well uh i think Next purchase that we're going to look at is definitely going to be some. Uh, well, stump grinder is a must, and uh, also something to uh, to create some wood chips from as well. Why is that? Not like liking the look of that tree. Oh, are we too near the end? We might be too near the end. Sometimes that is an issue as well. So let's cut that and cut it. Yeah, and this time it's going all the way across there. This might be a little bit of fun to try and collect up though, because of course we're doing it all over the stump. This one's actually got stuck on another tree. So I'm going to see if I can pick it off the tree. In fact, uh, can I? Is this going to let me? Yeah, it is. So, uh, yeah, we'll pick this off the tree and see if this causes problems. Nope, not at all. Very happy with that. And then we'll just cut it back the other way. And create a nice pile of wood to load up. And then we can get in and get the other pile we created a moment ago a lot more easily. Than, uh, than we would had we left it where it was. So back into our big wheel loader and down we come with this. Oh, no. I want to try and get under that and knock that log back onto the pile. Because if we can get that into the pile and we can sort of shift things a little bit to the left or to the right, sorry. Uh, that's going to make everything easier. And then next time, what we can do is, uh, yeah, come in here with a stump grinder. Clear these stumps off and start making an area we can work in. Because if I can do that, that is going to free things up for us quite nicely. But I'm also going to have to find out how much money I'm going to have to make each day. Just to keep us afloat with everything that we are currently leasing um, because our leasing bill is going to be fairly high each day and then occasionally we're going to have quite an expensive day where stuff goes over the hour uh, thankfully two of our three big machines aren't leased uh, this Torion of course isn't leased and uh, neither is our truck so as a result, both of those aren't going to cost us uh, anywhere near as much per day as, uh, for example, our excavator is. Uh, is that on there safely? That's not. Let's see. Can we get this in and up? Just reposition that a little bit. Go on, get in there. There we go. And then I'm going to push that end one in and uh, and even this all up a little bit. So that we can then go and load what might be our last lot of logs for today. Oh yeah, that has sort of settled down a little bit. But pushing that on there, there, like that. 
That will make things better. Can we get all of these up in one go? I, I doubt it, to be honest. But uh, we're going to have a try. So I want to position myself so that we can grab them in the middle as best possible. Come into here. Yeah, like that. Oh, actually, that is not a bad shout straight off the bat. It's not, it's not going to be all of them. But it is going to be... A considerable number of them. Let's wiggle it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that. So that's grabbed those three. And then we just got four more to grab up in a moment. Right. Can we get all of these in in one go? I was hoping so. But it's not being the easiest of things to do it with. Oh, go on. That's it. Ah, oh, no. Sometimes it looks like it's really close to picking them all up at once. And then it, uh, then it just... They all fall out. And if you get it right up around like this, it should grab them all. Oh, that might actually... Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to move that. We've got all four of them in. Now we just need to get all four of them onto the trailer and I'll be happy. And that will be a good place for us to go and deliver a load of logs today. Uh, so into here, like so. We'll open this up. And we need to sort of jimmy that up across a little bit. There we go. Right, there we are. That is not an entirely full logging trailer but then we had a lot of setup time today what it is though is uh, a pretty good amount of wood on our logging trailer so let's take this and uh see if we can go and deliver it to our sawmill and start some processing so that we can start delivering some products in the near future so out and across and over to our sawmill. Uh, what I want to do over here, I'm going to try and just back this whole trailer into uh, the water and see if it will unload them that way. So let's bring this over here. We'll reverse these into the water. because They do float in the water, which is quite cool. But this should give us... Pretty much exactly what we want. Backing them up to here. Right in. Whoa, not too deep. Right, we'll take all of the straps off. And then see if this unloads them. Oh, wow. Yep. It is unloading logs from the trailer. Look at this. This is really cool. I love that. So that is just all coming off and uh, and loading into the water, or uh, in from uh, in from there. Let's have a quick look at the production chain for this. So wood planks, uh, wood yeah, wood planks, wood planks long, wood and wood beam are all being created off of here. Uh, they are already going in. That is perfect. Exactly what we want. Uh, we are going to deliver these to the roller coaster and uh, and get them going. Um, but this is perfect. So I am so happy, so pleased with our first day on here. We're going to leave these loading on. Uh, we will pick it up next time where we might see if we've actually got some production out of our sawmill here. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.